Hello and welcome back to another unboxing video. Today I'm going to be uh, unboxing these Force of All decks. I've heard this game similar to Magic, so I thought I'd pick up a couple of decks and give it a go. But uh, before before I played it, I need to open them. So I have the Light deck, which is Arl of the Winged Lord, and the Darkness deck, which is Reza the Undead the Lord. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. I have tried to open this one already, so I just wanted to see what size, what size the cards were. But um, yeah, so in each box you get this this uh, bit of cardboard, nothing in it, and then you get the deck. You also You also get a what's this? A rule book. A how's the um ah so you get a full rule book, uh like easy to read rule book I guess. And play mat. I'll just open this up. Paper play mat shows you where all your cards go. So you've got your toes ready for your deck and your graveyard and what order the phases go in. Um, so all right, just uh, shut my door. Let's let's get into this. So yeah, it's about, it's like magic. You get I've heard you get mana to summon creatures and. Fight each other with the creatures. Um, all right, so straight away, the back of the cards are amazing. They're sort of like matte with. I'm not sure if you can see it if I shine light on it. With like this design on it. It's like I don't know what that is. It's not in, but it's sort of like embossed, but not quite. But yeah, that is really nice. I. I quite I, I like that a lot. That's awesome. Anyway, so to start off. We got your ruler, Rezard, desecrating vampire. The art on this is pretty awesome. I'm not going to read the cards because I don't really know what they do. I haven't played the game before. Rezard, the undead lord. Rezard, the desecrating vampire. This is like your leader card. Um, artwork's amazing. It's double sided, so I'm assuming there's like a mechanic to flip it over. Uh, the vampire who rules Niflhelm, the realm of the dead. His nature is brutal and cruel and subtle as well. Hiding in the shadows, he observes the changes in the world, waiting for the right moment to strike. And this is this is the dark deck, so I'm assuming this is some sort of uh, graveyard mechanic. You then have. Four copies of Dark Purge. Again, really nice artwork. Uh, four copies of Endless Night. Just move my finger so you can see. So it's a spell. And the other one was also a spell. Uh, artwork on this is pretty cool. It's just like a dead battlefield at night time. Four copies of Niflhelm, the Realm of the Dead edition field. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> come on, you joined the group already, <laughs> Rezard, the Undead Lord. I'm assuming it's like trying to make someone stay dead. <laughs> then you have Persephone, the Nether Empress. This is also the artwork for all of these cards is just phenomenal. I love it. Prowler of Niflhelm. So, that must, so these these are uh, resonators, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, I'm, I, I'm guessing uh, like the um, units you use. You get four copies of that as well, and four copies of Persephone, if I didn't say that. 
four copies of Soul of Soldier. This guy, this guy looks sick. Four copies of Underground Dragger. What is that? Is that like a is that like an undead dragon? I think. Either way, it's it's sick. All these ones are nice. Four copies of Death Scythe of the Life Reaper. Um, I'm go I'm guessing that these um is like you can like attach these. I don't know. And then you got four copies of I'm gonna butcher this name. Gian Dark, Shadow Princess of Purity. Um another unit. Either I uh, love the artwork for this. This is <clears throat> anyway, mass produced giant landmine. Another unit with no attacks. I'm guessing it's like a just like a trap or something blocker. And then you have ten of these uh, magic stone cards, which are which are like your energy or mana. So you just, yeah, it's got the icon there. Tap to produce a dark mana. So. That is the resin deck. I will be playing, this will be the one I play in my first game because I'm a massive fan of graveyard mechanics and like uh, death and death themed things, undead. Um, now for the Arla the Winged Lord deck, I guess. We'll just cut them in. Again, you got all the bits of paper in there, the rules and the playmats and whatnot. So yeah, a bit of cardboard in the deck. Just quickly, I'll put the uh, Rezard deck back in the packaging so that nothing gets lost. So, let's open this one. Again, with the shiny backs. With a pentagram. That's sick. Anyway, so for the ruler, J ruler, Arla, the hegemon of the sky. And. Arla the Winged Lord. This is a light deck. Um, not too sure what the mechanic for this deck would be. Uh, in in like in most games, dark decks all have the same sort of mechanic. Graveyard light decks duh, ch often change mechanics. Anyway, we have four copies of. Celestial Wing Seraph, which is cool. It's an angel. It's another unit. Um, so by the looks of it, it's like it's, it has, most of your units have flying. So it's just like an elusive deck, I guess. I'm just basing this off of Flag like, Magic and other games. Legends of Runeterra. Uh, Dignified Seraph, you get two copies of these. Some angel. Another unit. You get three copies of Gwiba, the White Dragon, which is cool. Just a just White Dragon. And you have four copies of Heavenly Garden of Armala. So, that's that. Oh, um, something I didn't mention. This, what I do know is like this thing at the top is something to do with the cost of how many magic stones it costs. Anyway, uh, maybe maybe I'll maybe once I've played it, I'll make a video on how to play. I'll uh, let me know in the comments. Four copies of the Little Angel of Amala. Again, this has flying, so yeah, I'm a, yeah, I'm guessing it. It's the deck is just flying. The Wingman of Amala. Three copies of this as well. This guy looks semi-evil. Not gonna lie. 
uh, four, co four copies, yeah, four copies of Artemis, the God's Bow. So each deck comes with one weapon. I'm assuming you attach the things. Uh, cool, cool. Oh, these dudes are cute. Two copies of Alice's Little Supply Force, which are just the um, card knights with the card card symbols on, like playing cards. These are these are kind of, these are kind of cute. Uh, four copies of Fairy of the Lake. Uh, not much to that. It's just a just just another unit. Two copies of Justice of the God Sword. Uh, four copies of a light sprite. There you go. Again, this one has flying. Three copies of the final word. This is like some sort of like dark versus light going on in this this artwork. So that's cool. It's a spell. And then you have your uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, ten. Ten copies of magic stones. Uh, yeah, this game looks, I'll work on all of these cards, it's, it's amazing, I can't wait to play it, it's, it looks very fun, uh, yeah that's it, if you, if you're looking, if you're looking to start playing, why don't get, get one of the starter decks, have a go, uh, it, thanks for watching, if you enjoyed, make sure to like, uh, goodbye. Until next time.